so I thought I'd give you a second instalment of These Truths by Jill Lepore. Really, really good book. It's sort of a history of the United States from 1492, but really is a challenge of this great experiment of these truths um, that the American Republic was set up on. So things I've learned that I didn't know. Um, it was interesting that Elizabeth I really was not so interested in the new world, um, way more interested in the old world. Her sights were set firmly on India and China, where the English already had some very stable trade routes. Um, it was really James I, when he took over the throne, that decided that the English had better get in on the act and not just leave it to the Spanish and the French. Although they, I think they were somewhat disgusted by the behaviour of the Spanish and the French with their um, murderous, conquering ways, and they decided that they were going to actually liberate the natives by converting them to Christianity in a more Protestant way. Um, but interestingly, all three of those nations did decide amongst themselves that um, because the native indigenous communities in the US were not Christian, therefore they had every right to come and take them over because their ways were therefore the ways of the savage and gave them no right to rule their own lands. I also read some interesting um, tidbits about the first English settlers that came over. And um, John Smith, who became their governor when they landed in Virginia, called them the most useless set of settlers he'd ever had to deal with, as they were mostly either ex-soldiers or gentlemen and had no desire to work or plant crops, so they all pretty much starved and went home. It wasn't until about 1617 when they started to realise that tobacco could be a very popular and profitable cash crop that things started to turn round and people were willing to work at it. And then, of course, 1619, a uh, very sad date in American history when the first 20 African slaves were sold on US soil. But one thing I didn't know was that those slaves were actually stolen. Um, the Portuguese had actually um, were actually transporting the slaves and an English ship came along and basically hijacked the Portuguese ship, took the slaves and then brought them to the US to sell them. So not only were they slaves, they were actually stolen slaves, which makes it twice as tragic, I think. Um, of course, after that, 1620 came the Mayflower and um, they seemed to suffer a pretty bad journey over um, trying to escape religious persecution in, the, in, the, in England um, at the time. But that was also a time when the English Parliament was starting to try and take some power from the King. So it was a very uncertain time for all, which of course led to the huge popularity of settlers coming to the United States. So interesting, interesting book and I'll keep you posted as I read more.